or something? I swear I heard something. It sounded like the sheep are really restless or something. Where I heard it just over there, they're really bleeding. Almost like they were afraid or something. Check it out. Really late. You get up early to. Yeah, they're really agitated. What's going on? Listen to them. Really agitated. Huh. Seems relatively bad now. What's that? Is that coming from Leroy's field? it lit up like that? Wait a minute. I could hear something. It sounds like this is somebody You hear? Sounds like a diesel through here. What's going on? What? This? Are those? Gosh. I think those are. Poppies? Why would people be growing poppies in the middle of a cornfield? Unless it's... No. Let's see if I can get a little closer. I hear some voices. Oh, there's two cars. It looks like it's a low vehicle. Some type of... Some sort of loud diesel. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of here. You don't belong here. Who the hell is that? Xavier, go kick his ass. Ah! I'll get him, boss. He's toast. What the heck? <gasps> back, go back, go back, go back, go back. It's bad. It's really bad. <gasps> uh -oh. Shoot. <gasps> no, not up to the farm. Not to the house. Oh, no. I think we need to lay low for a while. I think we're safe. Right. Up right through the field? Oh, that was 
way closer than I what is going on? Well, I don't know about you folks, but that was way too close for comfort. Way too close. I am to the house. He's been in the house. Maybe I left the door open. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Yeah. This is uh, Sharon Blackray. I'm up here at the farm on, uh, up just north of Hazleton. Um, I thought I heard something really strange. I, my sheep are bleeding really loud, like they were scared or frightened or startled. Anyway, I went to go down there, and I, I noticed there was uh, some lights in the cornfield. And I went to investigate, and there was a couple cars sitting in the cornfield, and I... I Heard a couple men talking. I couldn't make it out because they were, I, I don't know, but it didn't sound good. I think there's, I think there's like, there are poppy plants growing in Cornfield over by Leroy's farm. Yeah. No, I appreciate that. Yeah, as soon as you can send someone out. Yes, ma'am, I know it's late. No, no, they, I think they saw me, but, and they came up to the house, but I wasn't there. They're gone now. Yes, I have the door locked. Okay. Thank you. All right, so we made it back from the uh, dealership with our uh, wind rower. We'll get this parked up. We don't need it immediately, but that's, what's that? Who is that? I've never seen that. Blacked out. I can't even tell who's in it. Oh, no, no, no. No, you don't. No way. Ah!
Yes. Oh my head. Oh. I'm up on something. Oh. Nobody was in it. I need to call the cops right now. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yeah, I called the uh, officers out last night to, uh, because I had had some poppy fields that I found and there was some men there. Well, they showed up at my farm and, well, there's a been bit of an accident. You need to come quickly. I took out one of the cars, but the other two took off. One of them's a black Lincoln Continental, and it's it's all messed up. But oh, there's a license plate here. Hold on one second. Huh. Poppy Boss. P O P P Y B O S S. Please send the police as as soon as possible. Oh my goodness. Oh, brand new. Oh, look at it. It's all twisted up. Uh, it's been about five weeks since the last time I did a vlog. It's been crazy busy since uh, the incident at the farm here, which was just a few seconds for you, but uh, it's been quite a while here. So we uh, have gotten the uh, field fertilized here and the silage has been picked up and put away. But, uh, a lot of changes have happened. Um, first off, um, as you see, they, they arrested uh, one of the guys here locally for all the things that happened. Uh, and also, he was in connection with uh, three others. Uh, Leroy, who owns the cornfields over there, uh, he was caught uh, conspiring to grow uh, illicit materials. And then... Uh, a gentleman named Xavier Gulen and another uh, foreigner from out of town. Uh, and they were, yeah, knew what they were doing. So anyway, uh, after all the trials and plea bargains and all the stuff like that, they, this is what's finally happened. Apparently three of them were wanted, uh, including Xavier. And uh, so there was a $50,000 reward for each of them on the, successful arrest and conviction which just went through about a week ago which I received a hundred and fifty thousand dollars word for that the field in back there was confiscated and I did receive also a reward uh, for from the DEA uh, and that totaled a uh, hundred thousand dollars so that was quite a lot of influx of money. Uh, so I took advantage of that. The property that Leroy owned went up for government auction. And I was able to pick up that property for about 75% of what its actual worth is. So I picked it up for a little over 105000 something like that. And as you can see here, uh, I have a new header. Uh, so that we can harvest that corn over there. Minus, obviously, they ripped out the poppy fields, and I'll show that to you in a minute. Uh, we I did upgrade the truck. Um, 
we decided to go ahead and repaint her a solid pink in honor of my wife. And uh, so that is done. She really, really nice and, you know, sporty looking. Got some extra, extra little frillsies on there, which I, I really like. So, and then uh, additionally, uh, well, Bertha's took some damage. And it's a lot more than I th originally thought that she was going to take. Um, it turns out that that sliding carriage and some of the framework underneath was damaged. And she's, I've gotten some estimates. It's about 13000 to get her repaired and, and replaced back the way that she was. So uh, that, unfortunately, is going to be an issue. Um, yeah, you can see the under damage there. So, yeah, that's that's going to be a problem. Um, but you know what? She might make a nice uh, show tractor. Take her and show her off to at those uh, big festivals they have. Pretty, I don't know. She she might be good, but you know, we are down. Then we were down a tractor. So what you know? What do we do there? The wind rower was damaged. We had to spend thirty two hundred dollars to get that brand new wind rower fix, which just just well, you know what? It was me, and so I, I decided to kind of go a different route there. So we all understand what happened there. And so there's that. Uh, we're going to take a quick jaunt over to uh, the cornfield. So this uh, this land over here came with actually quite a bit of... Let's see if I can get in here real quick. Uh, see, this is where they've come in and they've cleared it all out. And they've ripped out all these poppy fields. So, uh, as you can see, you know, it looks like they have a couple spares left. But, you know, they're not super concerned about that. I mean, I guess it, it doesn't make that much with just a couple little plants there. But, so I'll send the drone up real quick and you can kind of see, yeah, that is... The area that was quite a bit so they ripped all those poppies out and uh, destroyed them so you know that's quite a big chunk of the cornfield out but there's still quite a bit left so that's uh that could be a good thing but head on over here and they'll treat with bone drone oh Okay, so anyway, this is big lot up here. Uh, this apparently is where they hid their vehicles behind this retaining wall here. I'll get this all ripped out. Or maybe I'll just keep it. Who knows? But anyway, I guess they were living in this old uh, storage garage. And, you know, as you can see, you know, they're, I think they were living in this thing, which is just weird. So, and then I guess they were using this for, there's like a, it's an old taco truck or something like that, but there's a big area in there. They also had a barbecue, and obviously this place is in just a state. Um, you know, they're running generators and stuff like that. So, but wow, it's a... Uh, but anyway, they were living here, and, uh, you know, TV and every... Second. What's that? Appears to be some sort of attic. Let's get this uh, unzipped here. Whoa. Okay, this this isn't uh, laundry. Well, technically, I guess you could say it's a type of laundry. All right. Well, we're not dealing with that right now. Okay. So anyway, it's getting pretty dark. We're gonna shut down these doors, but. I, you know, I, I have to clean this out now. Uh, it'll, it'll make a useful haul uh, to put all my units in. There is another little area where I can... I, I guess it's a, another little, little yard or something like that. Yeah, just a little open area here where it looks like we could place other things. So maybe that cow barn... Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is great. 
which is great. And it extends so far out. See where we are right here at the edge of this leading edge here with the stream running down to the side. So this board property borders all of this. It is massive. It is about 21 acres all throughout this area with lots of uh, forestry and and. We, we, I mean, we could clear out fields till the cows come home here. <laughs> Sadly enough, probably the way I work with lumber, it, it probably wouldn't take very long at all. But we could, I mean, we could clear this into one massive field if we wanted to and then put a cow barn in here. And I'm excited. I'm excited. It's, you know, it's about, thing, about time things kind of turned around. So those are the big plans. Anyway, uh, I, I can't remember what I was going to show you, but... Uh, it, we got quite a lot of eggs and we have the milk and I don't think that those prices are going anywhere. Yeah, it looks like uh, eggs are heading up there towards where we need to sell them and sheep's milk is getting up there as well. So it looks like it might be the prime time. Maybe we'll wait just a little bit longer to see how those uh, those uh, that milk pans out. Uh, the other thing I was thinking was it, maybe we could get that cheese factory. All right. Well, that'll kind of end it for today. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Well, good morning. Um, I did spend some time, even pretty late last night, uh, getting all the goat's milk and eggs loaded up. Uh, I think I have a couple more that might have spawned, but we'll see. Let me see if I can... Yeah, that's not worth it. I'm not going to grab that. So, but I didn't mention this. This is what I forgot. So this is our new tractor. It is a Valtra Q-Series. Uh, very nice tractor. Uh, runs in right, I believe, at... There we go. Uh, 265 horses. So it's about uh, 45 more than uh, our old Valtra. And it, it, it's a really good replacement. It's it uh, we picked it up really pretty much for a song. It was about uh, forty eight percent off, and it has a few miles on it, but or if you should say a few hours on it, uh, more than a few. But for the price, we just couldn't go wrong. So that's going to be our replacement for Bertha, um, and it should serve us well. Anyway, that's our update. We will see you next time. Thanks again.